Professor, I want to move subject now, if I might, with you. And as you know, one lemon on another network has suggested that the toxic, reductionistic and patronizing simplicities offered by certain sections of the conservative media don't actually go far enough. Take a listen to this. Young black men often reject education and gravitate towards the street culture, drugs, hustling, gangs. He is right about that too. But in my estimation, he doesn't go far enough. So, for, Professor, could you please explain to our audience how the needless shooting death of an innocent teenager now has more to do with hip-hop lyrics, soul food restaurants, than it does with a neighborhood watchman who shot him? Yeah, that's, uh, that's utterly uh, banal, and I think it's uh, uh, awfully misled. Don Lemon is a friend of mine. I admire him in many ways, but on this score, I think that Mr. Lemon has missed the boat. Uh, the reality is we can't blame the victims. We can't blame people who are victimized by a vicious uh, attitude that profiles them. Mr. Lemon himself perhaps has been profiled. The reality is, is that that has nothing to do with pulling your pants up, uh, learning to say yes, sir, or no, sir. Uh, President Obama does not sag. He does not wear a hood, and yet he is victimized and vilified uh, with tempestuous assaults by the far right wing. So it's not his sartorial choice. It's the color of his skin. It's the color of his politics. It's the character of his progressive ideas. So I think that what we have to focus on is the fact that millions of African American people are repetitively and constantly and viciously profiled in this country, and we must not talk about the politics of respectability. We can outbehave anybody. Rosa Parks was behaved right. It was the law that was wrong. Martin Luther King Jr. dressed right, but the law was wrong. And in this case, we have to talk about the law, not the choices of clothing of young people who, in any case, have the right to grow up, make mistakes, and then become full-fledged members of our society. Uh, Hogan, what do you think but, of Mr. O'Reilly's comments? Uh, look, O'Reilly doesn't need my, me, me to be a defender of his, and I'm not a defender of his. But I will say this: like like uh, like Reverend Al would say, I mean, we're we're all we're all uh, we're all able to have different opinions. We're not able uh, to have different facts. And in this particular instance, I don't think that O'Reilly was uh, was hooking in Trayvon Martin shooting to the current crisis in the African American community. I think what he was talking about was the stats bear out: 75 percent or so of African American children are born out of wedlock. <sighs> Uh, the murder rate in the African American community is ten times that of the whites and Hispanics combined, and I think he was looking for the civil rights leaders of the day to step forward and try to work on some type of solution there instead of focusing on repealing stand your ground law. We well, can differ on that. That's not the point. Well, I'm just saying Professor, Don please. Lemon was was undergirding that point, not the Trayvon Martin stuff. <laughs> yeah, but here's the point. It's 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 a, a kind of haphazard and catch as you can kind of argument. The point is that Bill O'Reilly has advanced no profound commitment to or sympathy. For for African American people. He's constantly lecturing us from his bastardized uh, podium where he condescendingly throws out nuggets of wisdom to us without understanding the existential and moral crises that attend the kind of victimization of black people. And furthermore, uh, look, I went to see the film The Way Way Back last night. Are we going to say white culture is pa pathologized because it refuses to take care of its children, its kids are going to hell, uh, hell in a handbasket because they are on meth, and that they don't care about the fundamental structure of the family? Look, we can and indict the white family. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of dismissiveness. There's a lot of crass materialism that refuses to care for the other. We can talk about the pathology at the heart of the white family. What we need to do is to speak about our common goals of making sure our children are protected and to focus on African-American right. vulnerability that, by the way, well, Mr. O'Reilly refuses to acknowledge is deeply rooted in the vicious and systematic denial of opportunity to African-American people. Yes, black-on-black -black crime is, is real, but white-on-white -white crime is real as well, and the ways in which white supremacy continue to articulate themselves in America are just as real. Deal with that, Mr. O'Reilly, along but, with but these other factors, and you'd be legitimate. Yeah. Gentlemen, we, I've, I'm so sorry. But he's sorry. using his pulpit. But he's using his pulpit. He's yeah. using his pulpit. That's his show. Yeah. He's asking for right 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 right